Hey guys, it's Simple English YouTube channel with you today and today we will learn how to write overview for any kind of line graphs. Is it multiple line graph or with one line line graph? So basically any kind of line graph. So here we go. Uh, the first thing to write in the line graph overview is trend. So you of course have to mention trend of a line. So trend doesn't mean like where it's going, where the how the line is changing. Trend means how the line is changed over the period. So for example here, right here, the trend for the red line, it goes up and then it goes down, right? Uh, however, its trend wouldn't be like up and down, its trend is, if you pay attention, it goes down. So for uh, writing trends, you have to pay attention to the beginning of a line and to the end. And if an end of the line is uh, lower than beginning, it is downward trend. And if end of the line is higher than beginning, it is upward trend so a trend which goes up right okay so first thing you have to mention is trend of course and second thing any noticeable features so these features are usually related to rank of the graph or of a line or position for example right here uh, it was in the last position like streams were in the last position and they became first right so this is kind of feature and the, you can write about this one Okay, and let's go to the sample overview. And here's our first overview. Overall, it is clear that like this one is up, uh, like totally up to you. If you want to write it, just write it or no, if not, it's no problem. So uh, the, the percentage of music sales by downloads and CD sold decline it. So if you pay attention, uh, CD sold and downloads, they just decline it right here, right? <coughs> Uh, declined while the number of sales by streams witnessed an upward trend. So streams witnessed an upward trend. So we have just done with all of three trends with one sentence and try to write uh, no matter how many lines you have, try to write every line, every uh, trend of the line in one sentence, uh, no matter how long the sentence is. So we usually start with uh, the second sentence of the, uh, of the overview with something like another noteworthy fact or uh, another noticeable feature. Something like that. Another noticeable, uh, noteworthy fact is that despite being the least popular method in 2011, streams became the major method uh, of music sales. So it was the least popular method and then it boomed and it became the major method right here. It's more than everything else. So therefore, uh, it's just a feature. Okay, now let's move on to the second graph and here is parcels delivered by Federal Express and TNT mail services. And here's my sample overview. Overall, it is clear that Total number of parcels received from FedEx faces a small growth while figure for the TNT increased dramatically. So even though the trends are similar, I mean, if they are both upward or if they are both downward, there can be some kind of contradiction. For example, here, like TNT, this one faces a huge growth, like from here, you see, all the way up here. So 20,000 growth. And FedEx faces only a small increase. So right here is about like 2,000 increase. So that's why I just used contradiction while, so number of parcels is increasing dramatically here and here is the small growth. <coughs> okay, the next sentence again, another noteworthy fact is that although the indicator of FedEx was higher at the beginning of the period in question, so period on question means basically like this period, period in graph, uh, period in question, after 80 years, TN, the rate of TNT exceeded. Uh, so exceeded means like to become more, right? So although uh, it was more at the beginning, so this one like red line was more at the beginning and they all changed like in different ways and by the end of the graph, eventually the TNT overcame or the number of TNT become uh, larger. And here's our uh, search sample and this time we have again a, like singular line graph and it shows us the number of arrests per year using illegal drug for using illegal drugs. Okay, so the first sentence, overall it is clear that there was less arrests for the usage of illegal drugs at the beginning of the period than at the end. So you can basically say for the trend that it's like the figure for illegal arrests faced a downward trend, but it is like simple structure and simple sentence. And as you know, I don't like uh, using simple sentences and the more complicated sentence you use, the better it is. That's why in singular line graph, you can say Either like there were more arrests at the beginning than at the end or there were less arrests at the beginning than at the end. So it is you're just comparing beginning and end and by comparing you are telling actually the trend of the graph. Okay and second sentence feature. Uh, by the way here we don't have anything related to position or rank in this graph so therefore your feature would be when the graph reached its peak. 
So just the time when it's reached this peak. So another noteworthy fact is that the indicator reached its peak in 2000. That's it. So the indicator reached its peak right here. So that's the our feature. <clears throat> okay, uh, some more things about writing an overview. You cannot write any number in overview. For example, you cannot say another noteworthy fact is that the indicator reached its peak in 2000 at about 80. So you cannot do that. So no numbers except for years. I mean, no numbers from right this column, right? And you can use, of course, years, but uh, again, no numbers. So that's it for our overviews of line graphs. And if you enjoyed the video, please like it and make sure you subscribe to my English channel. And if you guys have any questions related to any topics in English, don't hesitate to approach me and to write a comment, write questions to me, and I will make a video about that as well. See you soon.